It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Welcome to the teaching ministry of Life Changing Ministries International with Dr. E.K.D. Quick. With your Bible in hand and your heart open to learn, let's join the teaching in progress. From the book of Philippians, we are teaching a series on introduction to prayer. This particular series will cover the basic types of prayer, the basic purposes of prayer. Also, we will teach model prayers, dispensational prayers, the five answers to prayer, how to pray, and some results of a dormant or stagnant prayer life. Philippians chapter 4, verse number 6 says, Be careful for nothing, or anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. The Lord is teaching through the scriptures that he wants us to have a fruitful, a bountiful, and an effective prayer life. The objective of this teaching is to learn the importance of prayer. How to grasp the importance of prayer. How to heighten our awareness of the importance of prayer. The types of prayer or the distinctions of the basic types of prayer and the basic concepts or ideas and motives of a healthy prayer life. The consequences of omitted prayer, what happens to us, our lack of power, lack of direction, and trusting in ourself if we do not have a effective prayer life, and finally how to facilitate a fruitful prayer life, which includes answers to prayer and bilateral communication between us and the Lord through the Holy Spirit. Every Christian needs to understand the dynamics and the criticality of prayer, the proper position and attitudes and mechanics of prayer, Prayer, simply stated, is communication with the Lord that brings to the forefront in our Christian relationships such characteristics as intimacy, clarity, and purpose. Without a victorious prayer life, the Christian will become impotent, ineffective, and eventually enter into a path of both spiritual and natural retrogression, which means that we will stagnate and then backslide. This is the teaching on Introduction to Prayer, Part 1. Point number one, the basic types of prayer. First Timothy chapter two and verse one says, I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. This scripture in 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 gives an outline on the basic types of prayer. The four basic types of prayer found here as supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks. Point number 1A. The prayer of supplications. This word supplications in the Greek is the word desis. It means the entreating, 
continued strong, incessant pleadings until prayer is answered. This is the fervent prayer, the diligent prayer, the earnest prayer, the prayer with the sense of urgency. This is the prayer that is uninterrupted. This is the prayer that when we are tired, we continue to pray. This is the persistent prayer. This is the prayer that despite how we feel, despite any distractions that may be around us, or going on in our life, we are focused and steadfast to continue to pray. This prayer is given as an example in Scripture. Acts chapter 1 verse 14 says, These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication. This was the example of the apostles and others waiting ten days in the upper room, praying until the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit fell and the church was born and thousands were filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ has risen from the dead and walked the earth for 40 days after. Ten days of prayer in the upper room was commencing after Jesus walked the earth for 40 days, according to Acts chapter 1. After the ten days... 10 plus 40, the 50th day, or the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit fell that particular day. The apostles and others had to continue with supplication, fervent, incessant, continuous, and constant prayer for those 10 days without distraction or interruption, the apostles and others were told to wait for the promise which was the Holy Spirit and had to continue for 10 days in prayers and supplication. This particular prayer of supplication is the continued strong and incessant pleadings until prayer is answered. Point number 1B, the prayer of thanksgivings. This word thanksgivings in the Greek is the word Eucharist. It means gratefulness and appreciation toward the Lord, not based on circumstances. These particular prayers of thanksgiving are based on individuals not asking for anything, but just want to give God thanksgiving and praise. Scripture teaches in Psalm 105, seek his face continually, seek his face evermore. In other words, Scripture is teaching not to seek his hand or what God can do for us, but to seek his face, to seek him, to be in love with him and not particularly what he can do for us. These are the prayers of thanksgivings. When individuals would just pray thanksgiving for who God is, thanking him for his grace, thanking him for his mercy, thanking him for his love and kindness, thanking him for saving our soul, thanking him for giving us chance after chance after chance, thanking him for being an almighty God, a mountain-moving God, a God that will give us everlasting life through Jesus Christ. 
Scripture teaches in the book of Psalms, Psalm 100, verse 4, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. In the Old Testament, they were given an admonition to enter into the temple with a thankful heart and praise on their lips. Here in the age of the church, we are taught to enter the church with thanksgiving in our heart and praise on our lips. We are also taught as we enter prayer, to enter prayer with thanksgiving in our heart and praise on our lips. So as we enter into prayer, from the heart we are thankful and from our lips we give him praise. This is the prayer of thanksgiving. Just praying thanksgiving, not asking for anything. Just being grateful unto Him for who He is. This is our attitude. This is our disposition. Not based on circumstances. Thankfulness, which is unconditional. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20 says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is our attitude. This is our disposition. This is unconditional thanksgiving, not based on circumstances. This is the prayer of thanksgivings. Point number 1C, the prayer of intercessions. This word in the Greek is the word entuxis, which means the prayer on behalf of another. This is standing in the gap for our loved ones, standing in the gap and praying for our enemies. This is the prayer on behalf of another, giving examples throughout the scriptures. This is Daniel chapter 9, praying for his people, the people of Israel. This is Moses in Exodus chapter 32. Praying for the children of Israel. This is Job in the early chapters. Interceding and praying for his children. This is Jesus Christ. Interceding for Peter in Luke 22 verse 32. Where he says, I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. This is the prayer of intercessions, where we stand in proxy for another, both saved and unsaved. This is the example of the Syrophoenician woman in Matthew 15, crying out to Jesus for deliverance of her daughter. This is the example of Jairus crying out to Jesus for the healing of his daughter. These are prayers of intercessions to where we as parents, as children, as employees, employers, pray for each other, pray for our nation, pray for our enemies. Although these prayers of intercession are powerful in our prayer repertoire, these prayers of intercessions do not prohibit or alleviate individuals from confessing with their own mouth and believing in their own heart the Lord Jesus Christ. These prayers of intercessions that we have our powerful prayers that lead the Lord to move in the hearts of individuals by the power of the Holy Spirit 
and allow individuals to make a choice and confess with their mouth and believe in their heart. Individuals are still responsible for their own choice to accept the Lord or not accept the Lord, to follow the Lord or to not follow the Lord. This particular prayer of intercessions reminds me of the old church spiritual song that were to sing, Somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad, I'm so glad that somebody prayed for me. This is the prayer of intercession. Hebrews chapter 7 states that Jesus Christ is our high priest and maketh intercession for us. Romans chapter 8 speaks of the Holy Spirit making intercession for us. This is the concept of intercessions, and these examples are the prayer of intercessions. Point number 1D, prayers. This word prayers is the word atehio in the Greek, which means to ask something based on family position and redemptive rights. Scripture example in Matthew 7 verses 7 through 11 states, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you whom his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? This is the word prayers, which is a asking of something and expecting something based on our position in Christ. Romans chapter 8 and verse 14 through 16 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness that with our spirit, that we are the children of God. We have been born again through Jesus Christ, born of the Spirit, and adopted into the family of God through our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. As a result, we have a relationship with the Father through Jesus Christ. We can say Abba, Father. That word Abba is a term of endearment. It means Papa. It means something intimate where there's a relationship. And as a result, when we pray as the children of God, God as our Heavenly Father will grant us our prayer requests based on the Word of God and based on if those prayers will glorify Him and be for our spiritual good. God wants the best for us. God loves us with an everlasting love. And just as we as parents love our children and want the best for them, and when they ask for something, we consider is it good for them, healthy for them, safe for them, our Father has the same consideration. Is it good for them? Will it be safe for them? Will it glorify the Lord Jesus Christ 
and glorify the Father? And will it be in line with the Word of God? We can have an expectation that our Heavenly Father will answer our prayers based on the Word of God and His love towards His children, knowing what's best for us. These particular basic types of prayer found in 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 the prayer of supplications which is the continued strong incessant pleadings until prayer is answered the prayer of thanksgivings which is gratefulness and appreciation toward the Lord not based on circumstances not asking for anything just being thankful and grateful on who he is the prayer of intercessions the prayer on behalf of another praying for our loved ones praying for our enemies Praying for our nation, standing in the gap on behalf of another, knowing that our prayers going forth will move in the hearts of others by the power of the Holy Spirit. And finally, prayers, which is asking something based on our family position and our redemptive rights in the Lord Jesus Christ. The prayer life based on God our Father and we as His children, knowing that God will answer our prayer based on the Word of God and what is best for us spiritually and will give him glory and honor these are the basic types of prayer found in our prayer repertoire that we incorporate on a daily basis as having a fruitful prayer life this is the teaching on introduction to prayer part one And on today, if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or if you have strayed away from His loving kindness, I invite you to pray with me this prayer, this prayer of salvation, this prayer of rededication. Won't you bow your head and close your eyes and pray this prayer with me? Oh God, I am a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. I believe that God raised him from the dead. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Save me today. Forgive me, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for listening to the teaching ministry of Life Changing Ministries International. LCMI is a Christian non-denominational teaching ministry based solely on the Holy Bible, dedicated to pleasing God, glorifying Jesus Christ, and ensuring that the Bible is the foundation in everything this ministry proclaims and endorses. For more information, log on to our website at lifechangingministries.com. Please join us again next time for more Bible teaching. And remember, we have the victory through Jesus Christ.